Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. You join me and Amy on a mission this morning. Very important mission. As you may remember from before Christmas, there is one person in this universe who's harder to purchase gifts for than anybody else. My dad! And it's his birthday tomorrow. I've spent most of this week on the internet trying to figure out what to buy him to no success. Yeah. So I've brought my gift consultant with me and we're just not going to leave town until we found him a present. We have no idea what shops we're looking in, what gifts we're looking for, but it's just gone half past ten in the morning. We've got until about half past two because then we have to drive Lucy somewhere this afternoon. We've got to find him a present. What are we getting him? Do not ask you that. Brilliant! <laughs> someone who'd like one of these. Not my dad, unfortunately. That's awesome, I want one of these for me. Well, we're two shops down. I don't think we're going to the right shops at the moment. There's been loads of stuff that we want. Very little that we think is, well, nothing at all that might be a remotely appropriate present for my dad. The search continues. That is one of the scariest toys I've ever seen. Imagine if I went home with a cuddly rock. See now this. If I had a normal human brain, I could work out if this was actually quite a thoughtful present because this is the exact set of Monopoly that we played on as a kid that my dad has with all the little wooden pieces but he still has it if he wants to play Monopoly he still plays on that set and I can just see him taking it and going oh you got this we thought we were geniuses coming to a bookshop we couldn't fail to find him something in a bookshop we've been walking around it for like 10 minutes we realized we don't know what books he wants we know what books he's read but we know like Game of Thrones but He's read them all. I don't know what else is like Game of Thrones. Uh, just getting a giant map. I think we're getting somewhere. When we were cooking in his kitchen at Christmas, his knives were so blunt, I thought I was going to cut my arm off with them when they were slipping off the potatoes. But luckily, when they slipped off the potatoes into my arm, it just sort of bounced off because it was so blunt. So proper knives, a knife sharpener as well. I think this is a good present. I've sent a Snapchat of it to Anna so that she can verify it's a good present. And then we'll probably just get him a couple of little jokey things to go with it. I think we're finally making some progress. And of course the progress was made in a supermarket rather than all the other shops. The gift shops we've been in earlier in the day. I'm just waiting for Anna to get back to me to authorise this now. Incredibly useful. Almost time to go home. We have to stand some strolls though, so I've worked up a little bit. Don't tell Anna. Long time viewers will know there's only ever one reason we ever come to Morrison's. It's not a normal supermarket, but every now and again they do something extraordinary. Last year they did the foot long sausage rolls for a pound. We saw on the internet last night that they're now doing Yorkshire pudding pizza because apparently today is Yorkshire pudding day. So. I did not know that was a thing. That was awesome. Exactly. So hopefully they'll still have some and we can grab ourselves a Yorkshire pudding pizza. Hiya. Is there any chance you guys are doing the Yorkshire pudding pizza? It's not a, it's, um, it's FFPP. So you know like where you get all your ready meals? I, yep. I believe it's round that I will way. go and check. Thank okay. you. Cheers. Success! We have one of each flavour, pepperoni and meat feast. I was expecting them to be ready cooked. Apparently they're not. They need to go in the oven when we get home. That's exactly what they shall do. Expect a comprehensive review and taste test of the Morrison's Yorkshire Pudding Pizzas they look now. Pile of P.O. Box stuff. Mm. 
Right, the pizzas take 25 minutes to cook, which is longer that's than standard. any, that's longer than any pizza or any Yorkshire pudding has ever taken to cook. You don't cook, you don't know what standard is. A pizza takes 10 minutes to cook. No, it yes, it does. I'm the cook. A pizza, a frozen pizza. Not like these, A though. frozen pizza might take 20 minutes, but not 25. Oh. A Yorkshire pudding from raw. 15 minutes. But when have you ever cooked a Yorkshire pudding pizza? I haven't. It just exactly. seems like a really long time. Right, we have a big pile of stuff. Um, this is games. Doesn't say who. It looks like it's come from abroad. Guernsey. Guernsey. There we go. So this is this has come from Guernsey. Do you want to open that? So I've got no fingers. Um, um, what are they? They don't work. <laughs> um, we have another one which is. For Kev, open on cam, smiley face. I shall. Oh, I think I've just gone through your letter that you wrote. Oh, you're so mean. No, I'm so sorry. Oh, I have torn right down the middle of the letter. Oh, I am an absolute monster. Oh, Kevin. Right, let's try and piece this together. Kev, proof post-it notes still exist. I guess that's, there's some post-it notes in there. <laughs> also, the wife saw the pork scratchings in work and instantly thought of you. We've watched all your vlogs and FM content. Kids love watching as well. Keep up the good work. Mitch, Chate, and the kids. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I tore your letter in half. I will. Um, I'm putting that back together. You yeah, mean well, it's going to go on the wall of awesome. So we sell a tape back together and go on the wall of awesome. So we've got some awfully posh scorchingly hot chilli pork scratchings combines the word posh and pork scratchings that sounds, ama sounds amazing proof post-it notes still exist although they're not called post-it notes sticky notes do actual post-it notes still exist um traditional pork scratchings that are awfully posh and some more of the scorchingly hot chilli pork crackling amazing what was no, in that i one? don't think amazon works properly because we now Thank you, I have this three times. <laughs> really? Well, it might not be coming from Amazon, it might be people who've sent them themselves. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's oh, not that's, an Amazon package, that's is it? That's not right. Right, show everyone what it is. But it's not the same game inside. So it's Ratchet and Clank locked and loaded, but inside <laughs> it's Ratchet and Clank 2. Thank you, and this is Ratchet and Clank 3, yeah. and inside is Ratchet Good. and Clank 3. Excellent. Thank you. Andy, look. New one. New one. Here. Yes, I'll put it over there in a minute. Right, this one has come from Amazon. And this doesn't look like it's for me at all. Lucy! Um, this one says it's for Megan Eggleston, but it's our P.O. box. I'm going to assume that means it's from, from Megan. Because Megan, Megan yeah. Megan's a name we're familiar with, isn't it? Um, what have we got here? Whoa. Oh, awesome. Wow, that's <laughs> a, big, a big receipt that doesn't... It's got an actual note on there, but I assume it's meant for, for Andy. It's, whoa, hello. It's Dear Zoo Noisy Book. Andy. Well done. What's that? Yeah, that's a bedtime. Yeah, is that good? Yeah. yeah. He, does, he loves a noisy book. I've already opened it because it didn't have your name on the front, but it looks like stuff for you, and there's a note in there that has your name on it. Uh, can you get the dog to eat No, the dog? Dave, get down. It's because he hasn't seen you today, because you hide upstairs. Oh. oh my god, there's so much in here! Right, let's start with a note. Let's see what it's from. It's a lot of notes. Oh um, a little something from me for Lucy's birthday. Sorry it's late. Uh, from Jimmy. Jimmy! Your hero! Thank you, Jimmy. There's so, what so has he got you? Jimmy, oh my god! That's because Jimmy's a hero. What's he sent? I, oh, okay, I don't really know what to do. He sent this. Okay, well, let me look. Oh, there's my desk. Whatever that is. <gasps> I can if Lucy wasn't so distracted by everything else, she'd tell you what the things were. Um, um, he sent this. The, the brow things. Right, I give that. Did. Show them. <laughs> You're not showing anybody oh anything. God, There's so that. <laughs> There's this. I don't know what to do. This is what you do. More eye wigs. Oh my god. A pencil crayon. No, it's an eyebrow pencil. Okay. Mine, like, if you just like me oh, out. Stop. And a oh, brow sorry. amplifier. Brow Oh awesome, what do you say? Thank you so much. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> You're a hero. Right. Extravagant cheesy pizza Yorkshire pudding. That's the pepperoni one. That is the meat feast one. Let's get cut into this. So, this is such a cheesy, really cheesy thing. That looks dangerous. 
It looks very cheesy and tomato-y. It's just sort of collapsing. Deliver some to the lady over there. Plates, let's keep the plates moving, look at that. Very cheesy and drippy and stringy. No gravy though. Someone go and grab knives and forks while I explain what Yorkshire pudding is to our American viewers. Dessert. It's not a dessert. You can have it. Yes, but it's not a dessert. Yorkshire pudding is, it's, this is where the people of Yorkshire who are watching are going to be cross at me for getting it wrong. But it's basically, it's the same ingredients as you'd put in pancakes. So flours, milk, eggs, but rather than doing it in a frying pan, you put it in f hot fat of some kind in an oven and it turns into this big thing. And we'd normally have that with some roast beef, some gravy, British gravy, not this weird creamy sauce that I see that they do at KFC. Um, proper meat juice gravy. You wouldn't normally have pizza in it. So I'm quite intrigued. I, it's also a little bit wrong to eat pizza with a knife and fork. I think that's a, that, that's a known issue. But it's, I mean, it's Yorkshire pudding with loads of tomato sauce, some meat and some cheese on it. In theory, in theory, this can't go wrong. Is it really hot? Nice right. There's no cheese on mine. Well, that's a no from me. This would be a it's, great dinner. It's weird. <laughs> Is it nice? Yeah. What, what I can get. I really don't know how I feel about pizza that doesn't have a proper pizza base. It's it's very cheesy, very tomatoey. You can't really taste the Yorkshire pudding. How did you get the side? I did get the side. It's you. You like pizza without a. Well, you like the pizza topping on its own, don't you? You scrape pizza topping off the base. Whereas I, am all about the crust. Mm. And there's not much in the way of crust on this. It's fine. I'm going to eat it, but it's not what I was hoping for. I'll try the other one in a second. I'm trying to do this subtly, so I'm zoomed in and sort of whispering, but you can just see. Where's my hand? You can just see here. A breakaway. He started eating breakaways again. A new food. It's like a chocolate biscuit, but it's something new, and that's awesome. All right, that's the meat feast one. I'll have the spicy bit. The other one was pepperoni. Amy, get your plate. The crust is actually really nice. Well, oh, I need a scooping device. That's so hot. I don't really put it on that bit. I don't like that bit. But you don't like the Look at that. It's all right. It's just collapsing. I want, I want your spicy bit. I like the look of this one more. So, we've got like spicy beef, jalapeno. This looks a bit more like it. Ah, oh, I've lost my, lost my chili. Oh, there's chili on that. Oh, like That's nice, but not in. It's not Yorkshire pudding and it's not pizza. It's just like a nice spicy meat, tomatoey thing. You can't really taste the cheese. Can't really taste the Yorkshire pudding. It's fine. I'm just. I'm a little disappointed. Is that a chickpea or something? What is that? Oh, it's not really nice. Oh, it's like a little meatball. Um, I mean, it's okay. I'm a little bit disappointed. What are you saying? I said, when I do nothing, I would fill the options with everything. Really? Because mm -hmm. you're a bit northern, aren't you? This is a very northern thing. I put it on Twitter and Smoothman said that it was northern heaven we're not northern she clearly's got a bit of northern in her i don't but like it yeah i'm not not mad about it sorry morrisons i enjoyed your footlong sausage roll andy hello hello your hair is spectacular <laughs> that is just how I, um, I don't know how you do that yeah. he's been napping for the last couple of hours upstairs with the covers over his head, so he's sweated with his hair out at an angle. And this was the result. It's amazing. Good work. Have you had a good day? Yeah. What have you done today? School. I don't think you went to school today. Yeah. No, you've got to put four. Yeah, his, his sleep is a little bit all over the place again. So he... When we finished the podcast last night and I came in, he came down then, about midnight, 
half 11 midnight for some crisps, then went back up to bed about one, got up again about four, and that was it, he was up then. And then he's gone to bed this evening for a nap about half five, six-ish, and it's now just before nine o'clock, yeah, I think, I and he's got back up again. So I hope we're not drifting back into the two short sleeps a day system that we had going before Christmas, before he got ill. We certainly seem to be there today, but it could just be because he's got loads of sleep to catch up on, and he still struggles with these. As soon as the sun goes down, he wants to go to sleep thing, so we just need summer to come quick for many, many reasons. Are you all right down there, Dave? Are you comfortable? He's comfortable. Yeah, you should tell him the story about what he did today. Yeah, Dave, today, yeah, he's going to turn away. <laughs> he was fast asleep, trumped. Woke himself up, looked at his bum, went back to sleep. Should have got that on film, really. Uh, we're going to leave it there for today. If you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for daily vlogs. And... Thank you very much for watching, yeah. <laughs>